Love those you teach. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. We need to reach out to people's individual needs, where people have uh, challenges, trials and tribulations, sometimes they experience adversity and they don't know where to turn to or how to apply the doctrine that they've been taught in church. So when we do it the Savior's way, people begin to feel and understand how that is necessary in applying it in their lives. First, you have to know, they have to know that you love them, that you want to teach them. And then you have to communicate on their level. The Lord uh, walked with them and talked with them and uh, in everyday life. And his teachings were on that level, always. Loving those you teach goes beyond what happens in the classroom. Reaching out to those who may not attend or those who have additional needs demonstrates the kind of love the Savior has for each one of us. This includes getting to know and love each member of your class. We will see them from the LINE, Facebook, and the TOLASAP, or 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 the TOLASAP, คุ้นเคยกับเขานะครับเขาก็จะให้เรียกว่าปล่อยเรียกว่าปล่อยใจแล้วเปิดใจใช่ไหมครับทำให้เราจะรู้สึกถึงความรู้สึกของเขาเนื้อคิดของเขาเมื่อเราได้เป็นครูถ้าเรามาเยี่ยมเขาเราจะดูที่สีหน้าเขาเราจะรู้ว่าเขาต้องการความช่วยเหลืออะไรหรือเราจะรู้ว่าเขาเอาดักธรรมมาใช้หรือไม่ As you reach out and minister to those in your classes they will feel the love of the Savior magnified in their lives. De que ellas vengan a Cristo y de que ellas realmente se conviertan. How might you and others best reach out to those who do not regularly attend? What are the names, interests, and needs of a few members of your class? How might you express love for them?